Hi there. In this video I'm going to install two organizers. You might think they are stupid. No, they are not. Case in point. I always hated that uh, on your sink the sponge lays somewhere around there. Always. I hated it. Like this, with this thing, you simply glue it to something with a double sided tape on it and it's done. It's there to stay always at your hand, not just laying flat onto something, it actually has a spot dedicated to it. Maybe it's just me, but I feel it's much, much, much better. Also for this thing, I always search for a spot to put the hair dryer, uh, wife puts it uh, in another place, yeah, it's annoying. Like this, two holes in the wall, this is attached, hair dryer in one piece, this right here, and it's done, it's always there. So, let's do this first and then get to this one. Ignore the rust in there, this is a Chinese faucet, I will link a video in the description where I explained that I thought I'm making a good deal by buying it. It was the most stupid thing ever. Do not buy cheap crap like this. Don't give them any of your money. This is a, a thing from Ikea that gets marks on it from every single drop and it's quite annoying to clean, whatever. And this dispenses uh, liquid detergent. So. That makes sense. This thing will be going around in this area, but I will use both hands to make sure I put it flat and already peeled the protection from the double sided tape. If this double sided tape doesn't handle water too good, I have other that does handle it and uh, is unaffected by water and I will replace it. But I think this will also be able to handle it because it's meant to hold uh, a sponge which by default it's a bit wet so i hope they took that into consideration so let me glue it in there and it's done and as you can see water from it actually drains now so it doesn't stay wet all the time for nothing like when what it would do when you just lay it onto something so let's go to put the other thing in the bathroom it's a bit of a weird video but uh, there are many of these things and some of them are really bad quality. This one, not bad quality, quite good quality. At least uh, good plating on it, uh, metal is quite thick. Fixtures seem seem decent for most walls. So uh, yeah, let's get to installing it onto the wall. I'm going to use the included uh, elements to fix it to the wall initially. If they don't last, I'm going to upgrade, but I, I think they will be okay. It's not something heavy. And uh, yeah, holes drilled. Let's attach it in here. This is the back of the packaging and it seems they put some pictures from something else. But yeah, same idea. Drill two holes, put the uh, fixing elements in and tighten the screws. Hair dryer holder. I think we have the model here, product number, quite simple. And you might be telling me, hey, you installed it uh, wrong. This should be down and this should be towards the wall to hold the plug. Well, let me show you a problem that I encountered. Okay, let me show you the issue. Because of the long cable, the fact that it has lots of heavy rubber in here, and it's quite compact. This has a different center of uh, gravity compared to the products that this presumably was designed for. But this Remington is really good and I don't plan to replace it anytime soon. I'm going to fix it a hundred times if I need to. Anyway, the idea is if I would use, I, I should have shown you before installing it on the wall, the standard uh, way of fixing it, you see, so if you bump a little bit on the cable, it doesn't really want to stay in there and it will fall out. So decided to put it upside down and actually use this as an extension and this button right here kind of fits in there and doesn't let it turn too much and 
keeps it in its position. And I don't care about this because this remains plugged in as I have this right here, which takes care of the unplugging. So, uh, yeah. And doctors in the background making weird noises. So that's about it for this video. This support is quite strong, features quite good, or is at least adequate for what they need to be. But uh, yeah, in some situations with some hair dryers, you might need to install it upside down as I need it to. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And as always, see you in the next video. Bye.